Hello viewer, welcome to my YouTube channel Software Testing. Today I'll discuss about load runner parameter. What is parameter then? Parameter is a special type of variable which is used to pass information between function, procedure and method. So load runner parameter is slightly different. Load runner is uh, needs to run with multiple sets of data. So different type of parameter used in load runner. So I'll show you how to create load runner parameter and how to implement different type of parameter in load runner script. So let's go to the computer screen. I'll show you step by step process how to do that. Hello viewer, now we are at computer screen. So let's open uh, load runner view then, which is virtual user generator. Um, virtual user generator is opening. It takes little time, but not that much. So first we need to create a new script, new script solution. Let's name the script LR parameter, then click create. So I'll not uh, write any long script for parameterization. I'll write a single line script that I can do parameter. So let's write one function LR output message which will pass the message to the user. Let's say this is my name. then lr eval string so in end up with semicolon so always any code you have to end up with semicolon what does lr eval string will do we'll write a let's say we'll put over here name so we'll, um, we'll parameterize this name fun, name one only. So right click that one. So select that name, right click, replace, create new parameter. If your parameter already created then you have to go through the parameter list but this position uh, we don't have any parameter so whatever in load runner you need to parameter the select the one right click replace with a parameter create new parameter then you have to do the parameter name let's put the parameter name is username it's a file parameter original value is name so you can click over here okay but you need to set up more thing parameter means this is parameter name username it will replace with a multiple value so click properties over here then two different way you can do that so one first thing create table okay then here is the name you have to replace the value over here you can edit over here let's say name is uh, Karen one so you can do two different way I am showing you could do the whatever you like to so click add row there is another row added you can write the name over here Karen two so this is your data that is parameterized in load runner so you can there is another option edit with notepad it is the better option always i do that let's say you have these two we can do five parameter we can put five parameter over here three four five just rename with a number here is three 
Karen one two three now is four then put five so after inserting your data you could do that file save or if you don't save it just close it over here it will give you the option you want to save or not so we did here is the most important part part over here select next row update hello one sequential each iteration we will go to the sequential each iteration let's see how it works if you go to the drop down there is a random number random you can pick also there is a unique there is three different option and also update value on each iteration each occurrence once this means each iteration you get one result each occurrence it will give you different way once it will give you the another way so first thing we are going to the as i told you load runner parameter is slightly different this is the difference between other language parameter and this load runner parameter any other places with this name to replace this parameter so i click no so if you have any parameter you want to use the same parameter in your script you could do that you see there is a, a curly bracket added over here this is the parameter so now if you run this script it will run only once because we didn't do yet runtime setting so we have five parameters so replay if you go to the replay button runtime setting and then run logic here is one we need to run it five times to see that uh, let's do six times remember we have five data in parameter table now we can run uh, we want to run this one seven times let's see how it works then click save close this runtime setting now run this script right you can go from the run button over here replay it is running it will not take that much time just a quick run it's run completed script is passed now go to your console level just up over here you see seven times it runs and go to first thing first run iteration one karen one second iteration two second third iteration three fourth iteration karen four fifth is fifth then again it start with Karen one because we run sequentially each iteration that's why it again it needs to run seven times then there is no data after five then it starts with Karen one again then it's another two run then it is stopped so this is the way load runner parameter works let's do the parameter setting with the different way click over here parameter then sequential each iteration right now we'll do a random random each iteration close now save it now seven iteration this time you take a look like one two three four five then start with again now you see the random randomly load runner will pick the data from your table not sequentially so click run over here run completed script pass then if you go to the your console log you see first iteration it picks Karen 4 this means there is no sequential it's randomly picked each iteration randomly picked so this is the difference if let's say if you have data you don't care about the which user login when then you can do randomly run time
now uh, we are doing unique each occurrence about user if you don't get the unique value then it will uh, fail it will about the user that means if you have five data in parameter then five user can run if you run seven times it it should fail let's go to the uh, close save it run again you see this is failed because it is not getting more unique value because we have parameter data uh, is five but we need to run seven times and we unique um, uh, we need to run this is the scenario you could get you need to run 200 view user with 200 view user id and 200 run that could cover if you need to run it, this is this is the way load runner has many different options if you five view user you can run uh, thousand time it could be but if you want uh, whatever view user is you want to run uniquely each views are logging your system uniquely that is the different scenario so many different way you could use your parameter in load runner based on the scenario this is the way you have to set it up over here you have to make as many as data you need in the table like edit with notepad you can insert more data you can create more parameter and here is the option you could do you could select the random sequential or unique whatever needed whatever applicable for your scenario you could pick that one so it will uh, work for you sequential each occurrence if you run this one sequential each occurrence then close and save it run it It is passed if you go console level it is sequentially each occurrence it is run one two three four five then again it is start with a one two that means it is completed all seven run whatever data it is it is like a four data five data it doesn't care it cares about the how many iteration you need so unique was if you select that one and about the views or if you don't get the unique then you could select that one it is the different option different option in load runner parameter so it is needed for based on your requirement based on your scenario so you could uh, create the parameter in this way also uh, you could set your parameter whatever needed for your performance testing run just all available option in there here is the way you have to create uh, whatever data needs to parameterize in your script and what is the scenario for this parameter you need to set up so once it is set up then your script creation is done then go for the performance test run in controller i believe those who are new in performance testing it will be very helpful for themselves if you think this is helpful please like my video subscribe my channel and share it to others also, if you have any question, please make a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this video.